Hello and welcome to a very sunny badminton horse trials. Now this is one of the biggest events in the equestrian calendars and there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people coming here to support the horses and riders over the full five days. Now we're going to be having a little look around but first coming up on the show. Bristol Flyers star Daniel Dozy learned some new skills with young golfer Robin and we catch up with some lucky fans at the Bristol Rugby semi-final at Ashton Gate. All that coming up but first it's time for our masterclass feature. My name is Richard O'Donnell, goalkeeper for Bristol City. I'm Jodie Brett, midfielder for Bristol City. Then we're going to do some skills with you, and then we're going to do a bit of shooting. So, should we warm up first? Yeah, come on then. Skill one, step over. So, when you get to this cone at the end, what's going to happen is you're going to go up to the cone. You go right over, left over, and then push. And then turn around and pass. So my team, when we get to the bottom, we've turned around, we've got to do a good pass this time, yeah? <laughs> if it's your bad foot, what do you have to do? You have to practice your bad foot, but you have to go really slow and take your time, yeah? Skill number two, coif turn. Use it in a game to change direction and get away from your opponent to your game. There, well done. Nice. Skill free, pass and control. We're going to start off first by just doing a, a long pass game. So the first team to get all the people, all their players in the square wins. Yeah. Ready? So there's a bit of communication in it as well when everyone gets in the box. Skill four is goalkeeping. Does anyone know a goalkeeping set position? What I look like most of the time. Not bad. So your feet, shoulder width apart, so align with your shoulders. Slightly on your toes. What do you think we do with our knees? Do you think we keep them really straight or slightly bent, yeah? Do you, do you know where I put my hands? Roughly there, brilliant. So I keep my hands in here. Why do I keep my hands here and not like up here? So if I put my hands up here and the ball went near my feet, would I be able to save it? Right, so if my hands are here, in the middle, I can go up there and I can go down there, yeah? And try and score again. Okay. Well, thanks for that, Richard and Jodie. Now I'm here at one of the fences along the Babington Cross Country Course that the horses and riders will be going over this weekend, and I have to say it's absolutely massive. With that ditch in front as well, it's super scary. Now this week I sent one of our Kids TV reporters to go and meet local, international and Olympic hopeful rider Danny Evans. Let's see how she got on. Hi, my name's Livy and this is Finn and we're here to meet Danny and her horses. Come on, let's go. Hi, I'm Livy. Hi Livy. I want to be an event rider like you. Can you give me some tips please? Yeah, sure. Should we go into the arena? Yeah, come on, let's go. Really good. I think Finn's done plenty of jumping for today um, and that was some fabulous work that you were doing. Can I please come and see your, some of your event horses now? Yeah, let's go into the yard. Okay. This one's Raphael. Thanks for that lesson. When did you start riding? I started riding before I could even walk. I was lucky enough to have a horsey family. Off I went on a little Shetland pony called Donald. What's the best thing about being an event rider? 
probably when you win. I absolutely hate mocking out, but what's the worst thing about being a professional home rider? Probably the emotions that you get from it. That one high moment when you can have a big win and all those low moments become acceptable and you don't mind them. Some of the jumps that you do are ginormous, but do you ever get nervous? Yeah, I get nervous, um, but it kind of depends how you use your nerves. To me, I've got to use those nerves to my advantage. You've got to kind of ignore that, get in the zone and put the nerves into good positive feelings. Last week, I came fourth with Finn at a competition. What's been your best moment winning? Getting selected to go to European Championships and represent your country, which is amazing. Um, and I've been lucky enough to have won a gold, silver and a bronze medal. And that's really exciting to be able to win a medal for your country and part of a team as well. Thank you so much, Danny, for answering my questions. Best of luck at Badminton. It's been my absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, Liv. Well, three medals, that's really impressive. And Danny said she gets nervous, and I'd certainly be nervous jumping something like this on top of a horse. Now, it's been a busy few weeks for Bristol Rugby as they've tackled, kicked, and carried their way through the playoffs. And we caught up with a very lucky mascot who led the team out in the semi final at Ashton Gate. <laughs> Well, what an honour to lead out the team. And if you'd like to be a mascot for the final rugby game of the season, then you can go to the website for all the details. Now this week, we sent Bristol Flyers player Daniel Dozy to learn from a young golf pro, and it didn't quite go to plan for him. Let's have a look. Hi, my name's Robin, and I'm a budding golf star. Today, I'm going to teach Daniel from Bristol Flyers how to play golf. Come on, let's go. Whoa. Better. Now I've learned the basics, now we're going to see how you get on around the course. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get it. Ah, oh, that kind of hurt. Oh, there you are. Are you ready? Here? You're not quite ready for the golf course yet. <laughs> I... Okay. Alright, that's fine. Show me. Oh. Why are pirates called pirates? I don't know. Because they, they are. Because they are? Because <laughs> they are. Like R. Like A R E. Like R. Oh, <laughs> get a hold of one now. Well today it was a very interesting experience here learning golf and you know I thought I did my best but I take my hats off to you. You did great and you're the winner of the day between me and you that is. So good job. Well, Daniel, I'd say stick to basketball if I was you. Now, that's all we've got time for on Kids TV from the beautiful badminton horse trials. Thank you for watching and have a great week of Bristol sport.